I did a makeup declutter not that long ago, just within the last week, but one area I did not look through was my lip products. And so today I decided to go through my lipsticks, lip liners, and lip glosses, and I found some that I want to get rid of. There's not a ton of stuff in here, but a lot of this is fairly old, not all of it, but just some things that I'm not using. And because of my no buy, I have not bought any products at all since January, which is thrilling. So go me, yay, I'm pretty excited. And I'm happy that my no buy is going well. I'm, I'm pretty thrilled with it. So these are just things I'm not using. Some of these I actually don't like, and I'll tell you why. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe for more. And yeah, let's First get into it. First up is a product that I bought last year. And I was excited because e.l.f. is one of my favorite makeup brands. And this is their lip oil in the shade Honey. And, or Honey Talks. Honey Talks. I love lip oils and I love e.l.f. And I was like, yes, 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 perfect. And my issue with it is that it's minty and it's too minty. It's, it honestly feels like I just smeared toothpaste all over my lips. It's really gross, to be honest. I really don't like this, which makes me sad. I mean, it looks fine, but it's seriously, it just is so minty. I don't know. Do you guys have this? Have you tried it? Am I the only one that thinks that? I much prefer my lip products to have either like no scent or flavor or whatever, or something sweet, like, you know, a vanilla or something. But, and I don't mind minty if it's mild, but this, this is too strong. And you're going to see a theme in here, but anyway, <laughs> let's talk about these. Uh, these I got in PR and I actually like these. They are liquid lipsticks. I just don't wear liquid lipsticks often anymore. Now, I'm not going to get rid of all of my liquid lipsticks, but I'm getting rid of a few others because I just don't wear them very much anymore. I have been going with actually bullet lipsticks lately. So um, I actually don't remember the name of this brand. But anyway, I like the formula. It's a really nice, comfortable formula. The colors are beautiful, but it's just... I'm just not wearing liquid lipsticks. That one's like a really nice rust shade. This one, eh, darker maroon. I don't know. These, gray formula, thin, comfortable, but I'm just not wearing liquid lipsticks. Uh, speaking of liquid lipsticks, these two are really old, so I just need to throw these away. Uh, these are the Odin's Eye Alva Matte Lip Stains. I do like this formula. It is nice, but again, I'm hardly ever wearing liquid lipsticks anymore. And these are really, really old. I think for five years, maybe. I don't know. Um, they're great. I do love them, but it's got to go. Ripe Papaya, this kind of orangey brown. I really, really enjoyed this one. This one I wore actually quite a bit. And then this one in Red Apple. I didn't wear as much. And I just, I don't wear red lipsticks all that often. So obviously they just tend to sit around and go back. So that's unfortunate. Let me just talk about the other liquid lipstick because that's it. The rest are going to be, well, no, there's some other stuff, but this is the last of the liquid lipsticks. This is from Alter Ego and I like their formula. I do, but again, it's like a dark red, which I rarely, rarely wear. And so I have a few other reds that I kept, but I'm just, I'm not going to use this. This is a formula I love, the ColourPop Lux Lip Oils. And if you've been watching my channel, I I've talked about these a lot. I love this formula. It is so comfortable. I'm actually wearing one today. My issue with this one in the shade Honey Kiss is the color. It's like a greenish gray. When I put this on my lips, I look sick and it's not cute. <laughs> I've worn it a couple of times and I'm just like, oh, this just doesn't look right. It's, you can see, it's like a greenish gray. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So not going to keep that. Um, another formula that I don't like, this I got in PR from City Lips, and it is their Plumping Gloss. 
and it's one of those minty glosses. I don't like them. I just don't. This one's not as annoyingly minty as the e.l.f. one, but it's also like a really sticky formula, and this is like a metallic pinky peach, which is not my thing, so that needs to go. Here's something that I really like, but it's also very, very old. I've had this for over four years, and I haven't worn it in a while. It is the Mented Lip Gloss in Send Nudes. It is a dark brown, which I love. I love brown lip colors. They're definitely my favorite shades, but I've just had this for so long. I'm kind of like getting nervous to use it. I do think, especially for glosses and liquid lipsticks, four or five years is kind of getting up there because you can't sanitize them. Bullet lipsticks, I have some bullet lipsticks that are pretty old, um, probably six, seven years. I think I have one I've had for eight years. But the thing about bullet lipsticks is you can wipe them down, you can spray them with rubbing alcohol, and you can sanitize them. But these wands, you can't do that. So you just are putting it back in there and I don't know. I'm kind of getting grossed out with how old this one is along with the Odin's Eye. When we're pushing five years for lip products, it's especially these liquidy ones that you can't sanitize. You know, the other one, like lip liners, you can sanitize lip liners, you, especially the ones that you sharpen. It's, it's awesome. I feel like a lip liner and a bullet lipstick are really the way to go. They just last so much longer. You can sanitize them. So I really need to not buy liquid lipsticks because clearly I'm not using those, but also glosses. I mean, I haven't. Again, I haven't bought any lip products since January because of my no buy. But it's just, I need to be careful with those because you know, they make me nervous. Here's another formula I don't like because it's too minty. <laughs> I know, these I got in PR from ColourPop and I love so many ColourPop lip products, but this is their So Juicy line. So they have these. These are kind of like hydrating lipsticks. They're nice, but again, they're minty and I don't like it. And also the So Juicy lip liners also are minty. I don't want a minty lip liner. I just don't really need that. And I have so many other ColourPop lip liners that I love. Like their regular standard lip liners are amazing. They're one of my favorites. But this So Juicy line, it's, it's minty for no reason. I'm not into it. I'm, again... I don't want mint on my lips. Like, I'll just brush my teeth and I'm good. But so same story with this. Um, I bought this a couple years ago from Milani. It is their Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. I should have known anything that says lip plumper tends to have that minty thing, which I don't like. So uh, lesson learned. Like, why did I buy this? I should have known. I should have known. No, thank you. It's just a simple nude shade. It's pretty, but I have other shades like this that don't make me feel gross. So goodbye to that one. And then one more that this is a really old lip product. Also, this one I think is about five years. And I do like this one a lot. It is the Jouer Gloss. What shade is it? In Rodeo or Rodeo? Rodeo? I don't know. Um, it's one of these mauve shades. This actually reminds me a lot of the Divine Rose Gloss from Pat McGrath in the shade, but I have since repurchased that one. I have finished it previously and I repurchased it last year. So it's much newer. I would rather use that one. This is five years old. And again, it's grossing me out. These like wands, you put it all over your lips and then you just put it back in there. Mm. I don't know. It's starting to creep me out after this long. So lesson learned. I definitely need to be very careful with purchasing lip glosses. No more liquid lipsticks. I have some that I'm going to use, but I don't want to buy any more. Again, I'm on the no buy, which, hey, it's going strong. Go me. And I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, this is it for my lip product declutter. And if you didn't see that other declutter video that I did, last week. Check it out. I will link it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe for more. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.